Hello, let me, uh, a couple of people requested me to make a tutorial for uh, selecting or isolating a single color. So I'll teach you to uh, isolate a single color, but don't forget that you can make, isolate several colors in the same video. So, uh, first things first, you go to color corrector secondary, okay? and click and drag the reset to known or you can just click this event functions click and obviously you'll select your color corrector secondary and add it and that's it okay so let me teach you do you see the how in select effect range you have this eyedropper okay with this eyedropper selected you click in a single color Obviously you see clicking a single color when that color of, that you're selecting actually is kind of even. Like in this green short, you see all the colors are pretty even. Okay? You almost have, you don't have shades. But like in the uh, video of the ye yellow jacket, what I have, you had several yellow tones, shades, colors, well, in that case, let's say the carpet. Do you see how it has some shades, some uh, shadows, and kind of different colors? Well, you do it this way, in that way. You click in the eyedropper, you click and drag a space. That way you'll get all the colors, all those special tones you have in between. So you'll not have uh, a gray shade in your, uh, in your color that you selected. Okay. But we don't want to isolate the carpet. We'll isolate actually the green shorts. So we click because it's a pretty even surface and color, I mean. So, in event mask, click this. We need to have it selected. Now, saturation. Saturation means it has color. We want to increase color. If we increase this, we'll increase the color of the saturation. Do you see how we increase the color? We don't want that. We want the reverse thing. We want no color at all. Now you see here we have some green spots. Actually some of those green spots were the spots we have selected from the eyedropper. Okay? Now in saturation, do the same thing. We don't want saturation. We drop the colors. Everything. Here, we increase the color. Do you see how we have just a little bit more, some extra little spots. This is the one, the important one. In light, limit luminescence. Okay. Low. Do you see how we start painting these, these shorts? Perfectly even. All the way. Now, probably you might not see, but here's a few spots that I don't really like. So, we just increase to whatever thing we want. Don't forget that every video, every picture, everything you want to change, it's different. So you might have different tones, let's say, of a soccer field or a football field, the jersey of somebody. So, these tones of the sky, of whatever. So don't forget to check also your video while you're doing this. Okay, let's say we had a green sheet here. Probably that green will be way too much for this one. So basically that's it. So uh, let's check how it went and yeah, there you go. We only have the green. So that's it. I hope uh, this was useful and uh, practice.